basically the chicken industry acted like a mafia. Allegedly, allegedly, they didn't admit to liability. That's important. Allegedly, the poultry mafia conspired to fix the price of chicken. So presumably they would all make more money. And while they haven't admitted to liability, it's very important, very important. Can't sue me. They have agreed to settle in the amount of $180,876,600 for settlement proceeds so far. Chicken price fixing antitrust class action lawsuit. Ladies and gentlemen, those are words I would never thought I would say together. In today's video, I'm going to quickly recap this crazy antitrust lawsuit, which I am just now learning about and telling you how you could potentially receive financial compensation if you bought chicken. Yes, you heard me right. Just buying chicken from the grocery store potentially entitles you to money. What am I talking about? I am, of course, talking about the broiler chicken antitrust litigation, which on October 5th of 2021, so just a couple days ago, the court granted preliminary approval of settlements with the Mar Jack and Harrison poultry defendants. But there are many more defendants, such as Tyson Chicken. Evil. Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself, what exactly are they settling? Well, let's look into it. What is this case about? Plaintiffs allege that defendants and their co-conspirators conspired to fix, raise, maintain, and stabilize the price of broilers. Beginning at least as early as January 1, 2008, plaintiffs allege that defendants implemented their conspiracy in various ways, included via coordinated supply restrictions, sharing competitively sensitive price and production information, and otherwise manipulating broiler prices with the intent and expected result of increases, increased prices of broilers in the United States in violation of federal antitrust laws. The settling defendants have not admitted any liability concerning and continue to deny the legal claims alleged. The court did not decide which side was right. Both sides agreed to the settlements to resolve the case. The case is still proceeding on behalf of the direct purchaser plaintiffs against all other defendants who have not settled with plaintiffs. So what does all of that mean? Well, the way I read it, and I have no dog in this fight, basically the chicken industry acted like a mafia. Allegedly, allegedly, they didn't admit to liability. That's important. Allegedly, the poultry mafia conspired to fix the price of chicken so presumably they would all make more money and while they haven't admitted to liability it's very important very important can't sue me they have agreed to settle in the amount of 180 million 876 thousand six hundred dollars for settlement proceeds so far and those are only the defendants who have agreed to settle there are still defendants out there still fighting and while we're on the topic, let's see who has decided to settle. Tyson has paid more than $79,340,000. Pilgrim's Pride has paid $75 million. Pico has paid $4,964,000. George's has paid $4,097,000. Amic has paid $3,950,000. Fidel Farms has paid $2,250,000. Collectively, all settlements to date have prided that $180 million number. So this is one of those weird scenarios where settlements are already starting to roll out, but the case is also still pending. So let's move on to who is entitled to financial compensation. I've gone to a new site because it has this nice list below, but who is eligible for the chicken lawsuit money? If you purchase fresh or frozen raw chicken between January 2009 and December 31st, 2020, and you live in one of the following states, you can file a claim. The claim period is open on September 11th and continues until December 31st, 2022. You must live in the following states or Washington, D.C. area. California, Florida, Hawaii, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Utah, and Wisconsin. Oh my God, this is a great time to point out that I have a painting of a rooster. That adds no value, but I just thought 
I would point it out. And if you qualify for this class action settlement, all you need to do is go to overchargedforchicken.com and follow the instructions on the website. Here is the website. File your claim here. Boom. Fill out your information and then do whatever the website says. Understand your legal rights. And there you go. You could potentially be entitled to financial compensation. So if you end up getting money from this class action settlement, make sure just to just to shout your boy out. You know, I'd appreciate a like on this video. Maybe subscribe to this channel. We do a lot of fun stuff, a lot of random stuff on this channel. We have a good time. My goal is always to make content worthy of your time. Even if you don't qualify for this class action settlement, I at least hope you found it interesting because I did. All right, y'all. That's it for today's video. Talk to you soon. Bye. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom